Greetings my viewers and welcome to my very first tutorial video. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can make your Xfire detect non-Steam games and how you can enable Xfire in-game in some of the games that don't have this feature. So, first of all, we're gonna go to the Xfire folder which is by default located in C, Program Files and Xfire. Then we're gonna open xfire underline games dot any if you don't see the file just go to tools folder options view and then click on show hidden files and folders click on apply and then ok then you're gonna search for the game you wanna edit by pressing ctrl and f on your keyboard and let's search for call of duty black ops this is just an example so since this is a steam wars game what you want to do is just go on the third line which is launcher dirt key and remove the part from here to here so it will look like this then move on the other one and rename it from steam.exe to black ops.exe and then move on the next one and remove the part from here to here so it will look like this and then on the last part just move here and remove the part from here to here and make sure there is one space between these so it will look like this so this is how you make a Steamworks game uh, detect your non steam version then I'm gonna move to another pressing matter how to enable Xfire in, in game in some of the games that don't support it. So let's search for a game that doesn't have Xfire in game, for example, Gothic. Oh, it's up. Gothic, Gothic, Gothic. There we go. So this already has thing, this thing here put. So what you wanna do on this game, um, it should look like this shouldn't have the last two lines so what you want to do is you're gonna go at the end of the line and paste these two if they are not there I'm gonna also post them in the description box so you can just copy them so one more thing for example if the game is using DirectX 8 just replace the D9 with D8 if it uses 7 just put 7 and so forth. For example, this game uses 8, so I'm gonna put 8. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can actually detect the game. Then just click X and click Yes to save. I'm not gonna save this file. And then just open your X file. Go to Tools, Options, go to Games, and it'll do a manual detect of your game. So this is how you can actually make your non-steam version of the game be detected or how you can enable Xfire in-game in some of the games that don't support it. Thanks a lot for watching this video, I really hope it helped you a lot because I searched the, in I searched the internet for some tutorials on how to do this yourself on more than one game but I only find found out tutorials on individual games. So this method works for almost any game so yeah just go ahead and try it out thanks again for watching and have a great day be sure to subscribe to like this video so you can be tuned in when i'll post more giveaways tutorials or even games for free series thanks again for watching see ya